Welcome to Business Wellness. Today we're going to be talking about the physical impact wellness has on the workplace. And we have thought leader Lisa Poshny here today to share with us a, a variety of information about how we can make a real difference on how physical we can be at work and home. Lisa, it's great to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, you are such a passionate, dynamic woman. I would love to start the show with you telling us a little bit about your personal uh, survival journey. Okay, well, um, so I am a childhood cancer survivor. Um, I went through um, osteosarcoma when I was eight years old and um, thankfully survived. So yes. um, being healthy has always been an important um, an important thing in my life. I did have a lot of um, boundaries that I had to, or that I was told to stay within, um, I guess in the past couple decades now. So um, yeah, it's, it, it, this has been a journey for me because I've broken through some of those boundaries and um, being a cancer survivor, it, 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 it really helps me um, appreciate everyday life, which comes into now being such an important part of women's lives whenever it comes to health and wellness. Yeah, absolutely. And, and with the, those limitations as a child, that must have impact how physical you could be. Absolutely. Um, yeah, especially in the beginning years, because I, I, I again, I was told there was boundaries and, and limitations and I need to stay within. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I reached a certain age where you know, you start to push a little bit and, and go outside those limitations and um, just kind of figure out the strengths that you have. Yes, that's great. So did, was that part of why you decided to open your, your new women's gym? Yep. Uh, so actually, a couple years ago, I was going through um, quite a difficult time in my personal life and our family. And um, I, I, I didn't know how to deal with it. So I was told over and over again um, by certain people that, you know, running is great for the mind. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you could do? And again, going back to the limitations as a child, um, I was always told not to overdo it because uh, there was quite a bit of reconstruction done on my ankle. So, uh, you know, when I did do long walks and things like that, my ankle would swell. Um, but hmm. wasn't wearing the right shoes, you know, there was quite a couple of reasons that that happened. So anyway, I was determined. I thought, you know what, if this is going to help me, I want to try this, this running thing. So um, there was a five kilometer uh, marathon coming up for Terry Fox Foundation, and I wanted to do that. So um, I put my mind to it, got the right shoes, and it it got me out of that uh, that difficult time. It showed me that whatever you put your mind to, yes. you can you can make it work. It has a great deal to do with mindset, doesn't it? Absolutely. And so yeah. it sort of opened a door to new opportunities. And I know that prior, I, I, that you still are a photographer, but that was your yes. passion. Yes. Is it still your passion? It is, yep, I, yes. I absolutely love it. It's uh, it's still there, my studio is still there, and uh, yeah, I, I do it when I can. You, yeah. you do both. I do both. Yeah. <laughs> And so your new passion, uh, a physique, uh, yes. women's club, um, we had the opportunity to visit and, and take uh, some film mm -hmm. of opportunities that you were able to share with us of ways that we can uh, manage if we can't get to the gym. And yes. so ideally, the goal is to get to the gym for sort of body, mind, soul kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. So, and that's what prompted me with... Um, Yes. with physique. I wanted this for other women too. So what can happen in the workplace um, when you're sitting in a desk eight hours a day is um, uh, the main thing is bad posture. So yes. when we're not moving, everything kind of goes stale. So we need to, um, like for example, in the video here, uh, when we're sitting all day, our hip flexors get really tight. Yes. So what can happen is um, that reduces mobility and flexibility. So these exercises here are strengthening those hip flexors, keeping them moving, and um, that helps reduce some of that loss of flexibility. Uh, what also happens is when your hip flexors get tight, your glutes get, uh, they lengthen, and then that causes a whole series of problems. So like this exercise here um, is gonna strengthen your glutes, it's gonna keep them from lengthening, um, and because uh, what can happen is other muscles will start to kick in and take over. And then that's right. whenever you start to feel back pain, things like that. So you can have a lot of issues. But these are things yeah. you can do right at your desk. Absolutely. On your break. Yep. Or your lunch. Yep. 
and they're going to make a difference. Yep, 20 to 30 reps. Um, while you're sitting there, you can be on the phone. You can. Nobody needs to know. Yeah. <laughs> you need to <laughs> keep it hidden. And um, these little movements, uh, they build strength. They build tone. They uh, get oxygen flowing, blood flowing. Um, yeah, they really help help with your energy. They yes. help with your memory um, because everything's flowing again. The endorphins, all that. Yes, absolutely. They can pick, be a mood lifter and everything. Yep. Plus, you're feeling good about the fact that you're actually doing something you're besides doing something. just your working. Now, this yes. band here, uh, I've used a band before, but is this just to add a, a stronger element to the yes. workout? Yes. So this is going to add some resistance. So right. absolutely, this is going to um, this is going to help uh, increase strength. So t again, 20 to 30 reps. Um, would is is great is a great to start three three sets of that three sets because yeah. right now it's looking pretty easy but it tell and, me about oh that. yeah no those little <laughs> movements um, especially with this band this one here actually is killer this is great for your shoulders oh. um, or your upper body and uh, after three sets of this I can assure you um, you won't think it's so simple anymore <laughs> no <laughs> this is just a taste of what yeah what's to come. exactly yes that's yeah good. and you can pick these up anywhere. Um, a lot of places have these bands that are available. Yes. Now, these exercises, while they're going to be helpful for you to keep a strong uh, mind, body, soul kind of thing in the yes. workplace, um, and you're going to loosen up the muscles and stuff, but over time, if you were to do these on a regular basis, would you actually see a difference? Oh, just, absolutely. You yeah. Would, eh? If you could, um, three days a week, if you could, you know, make a, a, yeah. a focus on doing these three days a week, you will definitely see and feel a difference. Well, that's great because you know what? One of the things that I find is that um, for me, I I love going to the gym and it just changes my whole day. Um, I'm a regular, but I do have to schedule it in because if I just think, well, maybe I'll go tonight, yes. or I actually schedule into classes or, or for, for private training because yes. that's really, that's holding me accountable. accountable. And it's, it's, it's in my calendar. And I'm just curious, do you, do you find that that's when, when you're, I know that you're a trainer and uh, a life coach, how do you help people who say, I really want to do it? Like I talk to a lot of people who tell me all the time they're going to do it, they really yes. want to do it but they never actually do it. Yes. So, and that's what I always say, um, have a plan and a routine. Yes. Um, the, uh, have a journal. So I have a journal that I keep at the gym. I record my workouts and it actually is, uh, as time goes on and you see what you've done, how you've, you've gotten stronger, um, even if it's journaling at your debt, what you're doing at your desk, because maybe you yes. can only get mm -hmm. 10 or 15 of those reps in at a time and you journal that and three weeks later you go, wow, now I can do 30. Yes. Um, and, and it's a real great motivation. Yeah, I find yeah. that journaling is so beneficial because it's the only real way we can measure any kind of success. Yes. Or actually, I only did that twice last week, but sometimes we think we did it three times. Yeah. Or why <laughs> exactly. am I getting the results? Oh, it's because I only did several sets and I should have done more yes. or whatever. So, yes. And, you know, you can get uh, some fabulous apps uh, uh, to use yeah. on your phone for journaling, which yeah. makes it simple, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's really important. Um, and, I, I, again, I do it myself. Yes. That's what keeps me so, motivated. So what tips can you share with us uh, to help people be motivated to want to work out? So, so ideally, we, we really love to get to the gym so we can get out and be away and really focus, zone in. But yes. many of us, because of our work schedules or families, mm -hmm. we can't do that. So, right. so how can, what suggestions do you, can you share for us to, to find a way to make time for ourselves? Because that's really the key, isn't it? Yeah. And I would say, again, it's, it's planning. You know, like you said, you, you plan out your time that you're going to have at the gym. Uh, planning is huge. And, I mean, if you physically can see it in your calendar, that I find is a big thing for me. So I use um, a calendar on my phone, and, and I put in, uh, say, Monday, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to work this body part. And then Wednesday, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to work this body part. Um, so that, for me, is a visual stimulation that... This yes. is an, a visual reminder that I need to that do helps. this. This is yeah. my goal. Um, so, yeah, a, a plan and, again, routine uh, and sticking with it yes. is so important because if we just kind of go here and there, we don't see a difference. And then, you know, we, it kind of gets pushed off again. So yes. I would say to start there for anybody yes. who's looking to get back into it. Yes, that's great. And, and I, too, the things you, you eat different, you exercise differently mm -hmm. and all that when you're on a, in, in a system, you feel like you're, yeah. you've got to get that next yeah. level. And I think, again, um, 
having something that's in front of you. If you're that, I'm that type of person myself. Um, so if there's, there's nothing on a calendar, there's nothing to remind me of my goal and my motivation, then it, it does get pushed aside. Yes, yes. So, and again, you see that it's, it's in your head. If it's like a calendar, even on your, uh, on your yep. fridge. Okay. I'm going to go to the grocery store today. Um, I'm going to pick up this instead of a bag of chips kind of thing. So yes, it's on your mind. You're seeing it, you know, it's there. So goes hand in hand. It goes hand That's in hand. Great. Yeah. That's great. Well, uh, we're going to come back after the break and Lisa's going to talk about some suggestions of things that you can do in your home when you can't get to the gym. Run, walk, roll or dance with thousands of other Santas at this year's I Run Santa 5K. Race participants and their supporters will be collecting non-perishable food donations for Hamilton Food Share to help local food banks and hot meal programs who serve more than 13,000 people per month. It's all happening Sunday, November 24th at Royal Hamilton Yacht Club. For registration details, visit santa5k.ca. Have you ever wondered what it's like to work on your favorite Cable 14 shows? To become a crew member, go to Cable14.com and click on the Volunteer tab to apply today. Bob's got to go. And I mean go. It's that time again. Get up, get off the couch, and tackle your own to-do list. On this week's episode of the Just Ask Bob Show, we teach you not only how to install a toilet, but which toilets to avoid. Only on Cable 14 and Cable14now.com. Most decisions important to Hamiltonians are influenced by events at City Hall. Every Wednesday, Cable 14's newest community affairs program, In the Hall, speaks with individuals and deals with topics that revolve around that building. Please join me, Larry Diani, as we explore issues relevant to you. We're back with Lisa Poshny, and she's going to share with us some exercises and ideas that you can do at home when you can't get to the gym. So Lisa, we again had an opportunity to take some uh, uh, filming at your your studio, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think this is really helpful. So when when you really think about um, if you can't get to the gym, yeah, and you can't ex exercise at home, uh, at, rather at, in the office, this is what we can do at home. Yes. Yeah. So, so let's talk about this. I suggest um, starting with the the larger muscle groups, such as your back. So for example, here that first one was. Um, a lap pull down machine. If you're at home, this band and is, a, is an amazing way to strengthen your back. The larger um, muscle groups also burn more calories. So um, I always suggest starting with the larger muscle groups and then uh, moving on to things like arms, um, with, which you saw in the, the previous video. Yes. Again, this is another great exercise, which is the row. And you could take this band and put it around things like your, uh, you could sit on the ground and put this around your, your sofa leg and use right. that as an anchor. Um, and so this is uh, what you would do, a, an exercise you would do in the gym. It's a chest press to strengthen your chest. Right. Um, these are everyday movements, pushing doors, functional movements that we should be keeping our body strong for. If you can't do that and get to the gym, then um, push-ups. You can start on your mm -hmm. knees and then progress to um, a full body push-up. And again, journaling it, you'd see your progress. Right. Um, and then obviously your, your uh, lower body is, uh, plays a huge role in your life every day. So keeping your lower body strong is important. Um, and again, these bands are so great. You can pick them up anywhere. Um, yes. Yeah, to, to keep your lower body strong. And that extra, that extra little bit, yeah. Yep. So it, again, this looks very, very simple. I yes. know for a fact it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, I, and I know you can get different um, bands, different uh, strengths different, in bands. Yes. <laughs> and some of them are very tough. Some of them are tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. No, yeah. they, they definitely get the work done. And um, just having those at home. And even if you're sitting at, at watching TV at night, you know, you get yes. your exercise in at the same time if you don't have time to get to the gym. 
Right. So you chose to open this women's gym physique because you believe that uh, women working together, supporting each other, strengthens. And, and tell me what you see with, because you have all, like, I, I go to the gym. Yes. Such a variety of women, and, and, and I call that my tribe. Yes. That's my tribe. Yes. It, it, you just give me goosebumps. Yeah, because, um, you know, when I went through my journey and found that exercise just helped me through that, that difficult time, I wanted to share that, and I... You know, I, I feel so passionate about it. There's so many women at the gym with so many different stories, so many things that they've gone through. Um, we've got women with anxiety, women, we've got widows, we've got, like just there's, the stories are incredible and yes. they're so strong and they're there for each other. They support each other and it's amazing. Just, I love seeing it every day. Yes, yeah. it's amazing. And you know, it's one of those things, I think it's uh, going to the gym, working out with other women um, who are, are Again, we, d we don't know the path they've walked before yes. they got there, but they all want the same thing. They're yeah. there to, to work together, to be healthy, yeah. uh, laugh, uh, work hard. Um, it's a real gift to have that opportunity. And so um, I, I, I just have to say I'm, I'm so impressed of, of what you've done. And, Thank you. and, and, and I'm happy you're part of something like that. As I said, it's sort of my tribe. We're all there together for, for a different reason. But I'm, I'm just thinking f for you. Um, at the gym, I feel when I go, I don't have a specific buddy, but it's kind of the buddy system because there's somebody you know you can smile. Yeah. But what do you, how would you work that at home when, say, you're home, mm -hmm. you put your children to bed or you're getting up? Like for me, sometimes I would have to get up early in the morning, which might right. be 5 o'clock when my children were young because yeah. they would wake up and nothing would happen. I wouldn't That's get to work it, yeah. out. But, <laughs> but what, how would you, what would you recommend? Um, I would say, yeah, the, Again, it's that accountability, right? Having yep. a buddy system at home too, um, or having someone that can that can hold you accountable for that. So, um, absolutely, I think it's important whether you have a spouse or a neighbor or a friend or somebody that can help you be accountable for your workouts. Um, it, it can be accomplished at home for sure. Yes. Even incorporating the children. Yes. Okay, I mean. Yeah, exactly. just explain to them what you're doing. And children are, are funny creatures. They'll call you on things. and They and, will. Yeah. And I, 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 I've seen children in, in your gym doing a pound class. Yes. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, so pound um, is an exercise that is, uh, they use drumsticks. Yes. So they're plastic drumsticks. And um, how do I explain it? It's wow. I mean, mm. for for us as adults to do it, it's you come down, you're you're in a squat, and you're still using these drums. Your arms are moving. Everything is moving. So um, we have an amazing instructor at the gym, Leanne Brown. Yes. And yeah. uh, so she's certified in teaching pound to children. Yes. So we do run those programs um, once or twice a year, and the. The kids love it. It gets yes. their energy. They also talk to them about self confidence. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really great, it's a really great program. Yeah. And I think when I know I introduced my children to the gym when they were teenagers, and I think that was as a parent one of the greatest gifts I could give them because they both are very involved in the gym. It really yeah. changed their life. And if you start at an early age, it becomes a habit. Yes. It's, it's not hard work. It's part of what we do, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And and this day and age, you know, it's it is easy. I know with my kids, if they resort to screens, right? It's right. the easy thing. Yes. It is. I find difficult to get them active because. It's just kind of the habits that they fall into. So, um, absolutely, getting them involved in uh, running. You know, if you have a treadmill at home, um, not having them on the treadmill, but just you know them seeing you be active, yes. um, or or get outside and and teach them to run. Um, these are these are so important. Yes, for and us if they to... see parents going yes. to the gym and absolutely. making an effort, or even you don't have to go to the gym, walking outside, running, doing outside yeah. activities, it makes all the difference. Yeah, and again, 20 to 30 minutes a day of walking outside is is great, great for our body, and again, it teaches our kids, right, yes. that that's what's important. Sure. So can you just share a few more? I, I know that one of the things I'm really impressed about physique is that the different classes that they offer and mm -hmm. what the value is. Can you just tell me, like... Okay, yeah, so... Uh, we offer different classes because everybody has their own goals. Um, some people love cardio and some people don't. So we have non-cardio classes and cardio classes. So um, some people don't or they can't have high impact yes. exercise happen. Yes. So um, for example, I teach TRX and TRX is great. It's, it's a non-impact exercise and it's using straps that are... Um, 
that are hung from the ceiling. It was actually a Navy SEAL who invented them. And you use your body weight. So there's no other weights involved. And whatever angle you put your body on is um, how you're going to increase that resistance or take it away. So uh, that is a great um, piece of equipment for beginners or advanced. Then we have, say, interval training, which is great for weight loss. Yes. And that's... Um, that's a very popular one. Um, our amazing trainer, Samantha Pereira, she's awesome at those classes. Um, we have our strength classes, which are all weights. Yes. And that's obviously for gaining strength. Um, but a combination of all of these classes is, it, it's a balance, right? It, it yeah. creates that balance in your life to increase cardio strength, to increase overall body strength. Um, and then obviously that our mind goes along with it so yes and so you have, you offer yoga you like there's just a variety yeah, of things to balance the week out yes absolutely we have yoga um, and then um, at the end of the week we have what we call body tune-up which um, I really try to push which is restoring yes. your muscles and it's all about foam rolling it's all about um, massaging your fascia which is what is enveloped around each muscle so those are so important. Those foam rollers are amazing because yes. you can do those again at home. But they're painful. You, they are painful, <laughs> they're painful, but in a good way. It's like having a really uh, yes. thorough massage. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Like you can really sweat it out uh, working through. But no, I really enjoy that because I find that because we're on schedules, we rush in and we yes. don't, the instructors always say, okay, take the next 15 minutes to stretch. Yes. And usually that you take that 15 minutes to get your stuff together, right. your shoes on and get or out the door. Rush. Yeah. yeah. And actually what happens is, um, so when we're lifting weights, we think that's when we're doing what, what's making our muscle grow. In actuality, it's the rest that makes the muscle grow. grow. So yes. it's important because, um, yeah, if you, if you are constantly work, 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 working those muscles, they have no time to actually grow. And that, and then your body tires out, right? So you can have accidents. You can uh, yeah, you issues. can overwork. Yes, you, definitely. So yeah, taking those, um, taking the time to restore and rest. Yes. Active recovery is a major, major plays a major role in um, helping your body get stronger. And again, that goes back to your walks, thirty minutes yep. a day, yoga, hiking, anything like that is considered active recovery. Which is great. That's Which is wonderful. what, yeah, it's 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 needed. <laughs> yes. Now, are are there any areas of the body that you know of in your experience that take longer to build or to, to reduce than others? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's personal to each person. It is. Eh? But in general, I mean, wherever we put fat on, that's uh, first is the last place that it's going to be taken away from. So, for example, like our midsection, um, under our arms. Um, our backs. Um, yes. Some people, it's for their hips. Um, it happens in their hips, sorry. So a lot of that too can come down to diet. And then that's where, again, um, you know, once you're in the routine of your, you know, getting to the gym or working out at home, it kind of comes with it. You yes. know, I mean, you do all this work, you don't want to sit down and have a bag of chips at night and watch right. TV. You want to eat healthy. So those are for sure the hardest parts and unfortunately that part comes a lot of it comes down to diet yes. um, so you put the work in and then uh, the physical work but then the other yeah, yeah you have to put the work in on so the it's the mindset side. yeah it's, it's absolutely it's, an, it's it's all encompassed into the same the same um, mindset yeah yep yeah, the whole it's a, it's a package deal yeah absolutely yes, yeah. so but I know sometimes people go to the gym feel great and say well I worked really hard today and then they go home and have something that, yeah, yeah yeah and and I mean and that's what's great too about um, whether it's it's your spouse or uh, again a neighbor or a friend keeping each other accountable um, like right now at the gym we're doing a, an eight-week uh, boot camp transformation and it's really fun because you know they all have their meal plans uh, planned out for the week and if they fall off you know, they come to the group and they say, oh, I had a really bad day. And we're like, it's okay because not one bad meal isn't going to make you yes. overweight and one good meal isn't going to make you thin. It's a combination and it's yes. consistency, right? Yeah. So um, having that support system is huge because it helps you, helps you stay on track. And if you fall off, it helps you get back on again. Yes, oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us and sharing all your words of wisdom. I, I've learned a lot as well. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for joining us today on Business Wellness in Hamilton. See you next time. Linda Marshall.